Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I finally got a new chair for my desk and now my back is going to feel so much better. I'm not going to have random squeaking in my videos. As many of you know, I'm currently studying cybersecurity and information systems at UTSA in Texas and I'm in my junior year of college, which means I will be done next December and I'm so excited. So I have been getting a lot of questions about what it is that I actually do. A lot of you have actually reached out to me on Instagram, which is so, so, so freaking cool. Please continue to reach out to me and DM me on Instagram. It is so much fun. I love talking to you guys and I love connecting with the most random people from around the world and just knowing that you enjoyed my video, learned something or got something out of it. So if you don't already, follow me on Instagram at Rebecca J. Richard. It's a good time. I post on my stories a lot. <laughs> with all of that being said, I thought it might be interesting for me to show all of you who are also interested in cybersecurity and information systems what the coursework actually looks like so you can maybe further decide if this is something that you want to pursue or you can just prepare yourself for the classes that are to come. So just a quick little recap of the homework that we're going to be doing today. I'm currently enrolled in four classes in one lab. So the four classes are finance, statistics three, programming 2, which is basically Java 2, and then I'm also taking introduction to telecommunications. Uh, I do have a lab class for my programming class, but again, it's like half a credit, so I don't really count it as like a full course. Today, I'm definitely only going to be focusing on my information technology cybersecurity classes because finance is potentially the most boring class I've ever taken in my entire life, and statistics actually doesn't have homework. If you've seen any of my past videos, you might have already guessed I will be using my 13-inch MacBook Pro, and then I also use an iPad Pro for all of my notes. I do have one textbook that I use, all my other textbooks are actually digital, but other than that, I definitely have <laughs> fully transformed into a paperless student. To begin, let's hop right in and take a look at my telecommunications homework just because I was working on that earlier and I do just want to get that knocked out and done. Also, if you couldn't already tell, I got a new camera so the quality is insanely beautiful and just so much better, so expect some quality content coming your way. <laughs> Once I have both my notes and my textbook open, I always flip my iPad into landscape mode and then begin to multitask and all you have to do to multitask is find whatever app you want to use, drag it to either the right or the left hand side and it'll split your screen, you can adjust it however you like. This is the best way to take notes in my opinion. My introduction to telecommunications class is actually an online class because I love a good online class. but. This means that I have tons of reading and tons of notes to take all of the time. In order for me to make it a little bit more interesting, I'm using a special keyboard here. I will link it down below if you're interested in it. And this just helps me make my notes look a little bit more interesting. I want to make sure my notes encourage me and excite me and make me want to go look back and actually review them. So there's a couple different things I do to just make it look a little nicer. So this class, Introduction to Telecommunications, is ultimately networking basics. Every week I have to read a chapter, do a quiz, and then also complete a lab. We do tons with the OSI model, we learn about all the different protocols that exist in this lovely world. Our labs are normally conducted on virtual machines and Wireshark, which is always lots of fun. One of our labs we literally had to look at sound waves and learn how to translate that into binary and how different frequencies and what not affect how your computer um, takes in that data and turns it into ones and zeros. So it really is just a basics teaching you how data moves, how data is created, transported, all of those lovely things. Yes. 
One thing that has helped me a ton in this class is being able to screenshot my textbook that is right next to my notes and put it into GoodNotes. There is a little photo icon at the top of GoodNotes that lets you crop the image right there in your notes and then add it to wherever you want it to be. There's so many diagrams in <laughs> telecommunications in this class, so it's very helpful that you don't have to draw them all out. You can just screenshot it and put it wherever your heart desires. For my programming class, we are going to be switching over to the trusty MacBook Pro. Unfortunately, I'm not able to show all of the content because I'm pretty sure there's like copyright issues going on right now in my school, so I don't want to be like dragged into that. But in my programming class, you guessed it, we program a ton. Every week we have a lab that is due that applies to whatever we're learning in class. I'm currently working on my programming assignment. We have for a year and since this is the last one, there are tons of concepts in it. This class has been a lot of fun as well. I love programming and I would actually love to make more videos about it in the future. In this class, we've covered inheritance, polymorphism and interfaces, um, exception handling. Unfortunately, we didn't do GUIs, but we also did regular expressions, input and output, XML serialization, which is just a way that a computer can input and output data. Generic collections is something that we're doing right now, and then we're also currently working on recursion, which if you know anything about programming, things get weird when recursion comes up. But that's basically what goes on in that class. Maybe one day I can program with you guys and just show you some of the basics or something fun like that. We can build something together. That is pretty much it for today's homework. I am only taking two classes directly related to my major this semester, so not tons to show you at the moment. But next semester, I'm taking five classes and all of them are related to cybersecurity, so I'm excited to show you guys what I'm doing as I progress down my degree plan. Thank you so much for watching this video. Again, make sure you subscribe and find me on social media, reach out, let's have a cool conversation. I will see you guys in my next video. Till next time.